Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bourbon Bar. I'm Holden and today I'm going to be doing a review of Penelope Architect. Now, this is a bottle I've been seeing all over the whiskey tube. Uh, Penelope Architect is basically taking it by a storm. Everyone seems to love it. Everyone all has their own opinions on it and um, all positive from what I've seen. So I decided that I saw it in the store and I was going to pick it up and give it a try myself and see if it lives up to the hype. So. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and crack open this bottle right quick. Now, a little bit of information about the Penelope Architect is that it is a four to five and a half year whiskey. Um, it's a four grain bourbon mash bill and it's three different bourbon mash bills that are all blended together to comprise the four grain. Um, so one of them obviously is gonna be a weeded bourbon while the other two might be, one might be a weeded, one might be just a normal bourbon mash bill without wheat, just corn, rye, and barley. But I'll throw the mash bill up on the screen for you guys, but it is 75% corn, 15% wheat, 7% rye, and 3% malted barley. Now, um, one thing I really like about this, and I'll throw it a little B-roll on the screen as well, is um, the back label of the bottle, which has kind of like what they're trying to accomplish with this. It's, uh, it's got this whole thing, but basically this is a new blueprint for what they're trying to do to make their whiskey the most well-rounded whiskey that they possibly can. So it shows kind of like the control whiskey, which I'm assuming is like their mainstay of what this originally tastes like. And then um, the architect build would be the solid white line around the outside that you guys can see there. Um, that's rounding out all the rest of the flavors and really getting it to go. So we're gonna crack open this bottle and see how it tastes. And I'll let you guys know my honest opinion of it, of course, as always. Then I'll give it a grade on a scale of 1 to 10. And I will let you guys know how much I think you should buy it for. Um, typically, which is a really nice part about Penelope, is that it's not super allocated. And a lot of them are really easy to get, really re readily available. So they're not overpriced. And I actually got this one um, for pretty cheap. I think I got it for just around that $60 mark. Uh, so... Wonderful price, wonderful price, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the nose, let you guys know how this is. All right, so right away on the nose here, this is quite interesting. It's all four grains to me personally. Seem to have this unique note in it that you can just tell it's four grain. Not always entirely sure what I can put my if I can put my finger on it, but it gives it kind of like a, I wanna say, a fruit zesty e note with a little bit of floralness on it. It seems to be a consistent thing that I'm finding in four grains. Uh, this one in particular, I'm getting a lot of that that sweet floral bouquet of flowers in there right on the top and a little bit of lemon zest and a little bit of grapefruit zest maybe um, on the nose here. There's definitely some vanilla, um, some vanilla cream. It's, it's some kind of like citrusy fruit, very floral, very bouquet of flowers. Uh, I don't know which flower in particularly. It's got a nice light oakiness to it, like uh, nothing too bitter, but something kind of more, you know, like light. It is finished with, so what they're doing with this series is it's finished with French oak staves, and uh, I believe some of the staves are um, charred lightly, and or some are toasted lightly, and the other others are toasted heavily. Um, over different periods of time, I believe, which is kind of like what's giving it its rounded off flavors as uh, they looked at something that needed a little bit more in that part portion of the palette. And so they put in a lighter stave and then they noticed something that needed a little bit more on the other part of the palette, which gave it a little bit of a darker stave, um, which overall brought it into that perfect palette um, that they're claiming to have achieved with this Architect series. And I have not had on the palette yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it on the palette to let you guys know if they did manage to achieve that. Oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. <clears throat> that. That's. Hmm. That's wild. That's. God, that's really good. That is really good. Like, this is 104 proof, 52% alcohol, and it honestly drinks every bit of that and more. 
Um, it's it's so the mouthfeel of it, fantastic. It's it's just rich and creamy and like right on the front of the palate. Oh man, I gotta go in again. I I was too busy being overwhelmed by all the magicness that was happening in my mouth that I couldn't I couldn't just pick out particular flavors. Let me just go in again here. Okay. Wow, okay. So, immediately, vanilla. Straight vanilla caramel, maybe like a creme brulee um, finish on that. Like, maybe like a um, toasted caramel. But just super, like, sweetness right on the front of the palate. And then as you get in there, it's got this, like, the florally notes that I was talking about earlier. Um, going on with it. Oh, man. This is, this is interesting. This is very, very good. This really is just like a whole body experience. There's so much evolution going on. And it, honestly, the notes aren't that different. It's just that depending on which part of the tongue it's hitting, it's just got like this different kind of version of the same flavor. I mean, right up front, it's like vanilla extract. And as it goes over the back, it turns into like this like rich vanilla, like buttercream frosting. And then down at the finish, has a whole lot of like um, sweet oak and caramel and vanilla, um, followed by like a little bit of floral on the retro nasal, and it's just like the finish is nice and long. It's rich and it's creamy, and it's just wow. I mean, even the legs on this are like really good. And I know how they did it because they had it word for word exactly how they made this whiskey, but. Man, I'm just blown away by how great it is. And I wasn't expecting this at all. I mean, people people put high praise on it uh, when they were talking about it, but I was not expecting it to be this good. Um, my first Penelope definitely did not let me down, but I'm gonna just go ahead and grade this bottle because I don't really need to say much more. I mean, it's amazing whiskey. It's honestly like some of the best stuff I've ever had. Um, so now when I'm grading the bottle, I'm going to give it a score out of 10 and my honest to God opinion of this is I would give it a 9.3. I mean, for $60, which is what I got this for, this is like getting dangerously close to that 10 area. Now I know I'm never going to actually find a 10 in the whiskey world, but a 9.3, I mean, this is a hitter. If you guys don't have a bottle and you see this, you should buy it. It's no brainer to me. And honestly, it's hitting so far out of the park that I think it's worth more than the $60 that I paid for it. I would honestly willing to be paying $100 for this whiskey. Um, now, if I already have one on the shelf, am I gonna stock up at $100? No, but if you haven't found one and you see one for $100, grab it. The nice part is about Penelope is they like to make sure their stuff is stocked on the shelves, it's easy to get, easy to find, for even for being a smaller um, company, which I believe they are, they just, they have it all available and it's fantastic work that they're doing over there. So it gets a 9.3 out of 10 for me. Uh, would I buy it again? 100% yes. I would honestly up pay to about $100 for it. It's drinking better than whiskeys that I paid $100 for. And I mean, honestly, this has gotta be one of the best ones on the shelf. I am blown away by the work they've done on this one. and. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. Um, that being said, if you guys like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Have you had this whiskey? And how friggin' awesome is it? I mean, out of, what do you guys give it out of 10? Because personally, I think it's just phenomenal. It's one of the best I've ever had, and I honestly can't wait to keep drinking it. That being said, this is the end of the video, guys. I will see you all in the next class.